All right. So in this video, what we're going to do is set up Multigo so that it will be able to pull data from your Hunchly installation using some Multigo transforms and the Hunchly API. So I have a fresh factory reset Multigo here that I'm going to operate off of, and I'm going to show you how to import the configuration file and do a little bit of setup with the Hunchly transforms and then how to run some of those transforms. So I'm on Multigo Classic 4.1.14. Uh, as of today, August 30th, 2018, I believe this is the newest version. There were no updates, uh, no additional updates available. So the first step that we want to do is go into our little Multigo menu here, go import, and then select import configuration. This will be in the zip file that you were provided, and you will see a Hunchly configuration.mtz. We are going to want to import that, leave everything checked, click next, click finish, and now we should have Hunchly entities and transforms available in our graph. So if we just start a new graph, we can see there's Hunchly, perfect. But before we go further, we actually need to set up the transforms. And because it's a local transform set, it's a bit of a pain. It's not as convenient as setting up a remote transform where we can just kind of one click install it. We do have to do a bit of setup. So click on the transforms ribbon at the top here and click on Transform Manager. Now, the easiest thing to do here is just to simply filter on Hunchly. You're gonna see all of the local transforms for Hunchly. Click on the top one, and what we need to adjust is this working directory right here. So, what I recommend you do is adjust it once. So, in this case, we're gonna go Users, Justin Documents, Hunchly Marketing, Multigo, Python. So this is the Python directory in the zip file that you would have received and I'm going to select all and I'm going to copy it to the clipboard so that I can easily just work my way down the list very quickly and paste it in. I know this is a bit of a pain. If there's an automated way that people are aware of, please shoot me an email and let me know. I'm not aware of a way of making this automated or uh, making it easier. So we just have to work our way down the list continuing to update that path. All right, almost done. Okay, cool. So now we've set up the local transforms and the working directory. It utilizes Python, so you're gonna need Python installed and registered in your system so that Python can be run from anywhere. We're gonna close that. And now we should be ready to actually run um, some transforms. There's one other thing that you're going to have to potentially adjust on your system, uh, or you will have to adjust, which is the config.py in the Python directory. So this is going to tell it where the Hunchly API executable lives. There's instructions in the guide that you've been given as well, telling you where the paths are on Windows, OS X, or Linux. In this case, this is a development machine, so I have it pointed to a development directory, but you're gonna to wanna to update the config.py, just changing this path here to reflect where the Hunchly API executable lives. And in Hunchly itself, I have a BuzzFeed story case. So this is a story by Craig Silverman that uh, he did on unmasking a particular uh, website and the owner of that website. So I did a couple of quick captures just reviewing his story. So BuzzFeed story, is the name of the case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the Hunchly case out onto the graph and we're gonna say BuzzFeed story. Now the case name has to match here in order for Hunchly to be able to um, run the API properly and be able to pull the data in for this case. And there's a few things we can do. So for one, we can go into all transforms and we can say get Hunchly pages. This is gonna pull in all of the pages that were in that case, and these are Hunchly page entities. So you can convert them to websites or URLs in Multigo if you like, and we can retrieve other data such as all of the photos that were automatically extracted in a case. These are not your tagged photos. These are all of the photos that were extracted. Uh, you can also get the EXIF metadata from them. You can pull in selector hits, or a quick way of doing this is to just simply select your Hunchly case in Multigo and in the machines tab here you can see we have a Hunchly full case extraction machine which we can run and this is going to iterate over the case every one of the pages and start pulling in data including all of the photos and selector hits we can see the graph expanding here this is a very small case so there's only about 13 pages captured at this time but you can see all of the data that it's collecting 
uh, it, there's quite a lot there. So the bigger your cases are, the more that you're going to see on this graph and you can begin digging into some of the data connections. You can dig into where there are selectors shared across multiple pages, for example. And in my case, I have the Multigo version that allows 10,000 nodes on the graph. You can easily hit 10,000 on a moderate size case in Hunchly. So you want to be mindful when you're running this machine that uh, it could very well top out your Multigo very easily. So you may want to do more selective runs like running transforms that only extract data, for example, um, or only pull out the selector hits between pages, depending on what you're working in the case. Now these transforms are in beta, so this means that we just wanted to develop some very basic ones, throw them out there to you, the customer, let you use them, let you come back and tell us what you found useful, what you'd like to see, um, or you know areas that we can improve, which also might mean things in the Hunchly API that we need to expand on. But the great thing is, is that you have the ability now to take things like extracted data. So here we have a Google Analytics code that was discovered on one of the pages. This I'm guessing is a BuzzFeed Google Analytics code. You can convert that entity into something that you can then search with other Multigo transforms. You can, for example, convert this Craig Silverman at BuzzFeed into an email address and now you have all of the transforms for email accounts that you can run here um, and again we are just looking for you guys to give us some feedback this is how you get it started and begin exploring some of this data if you have any questions or you run into any trouble getting it set up please just send us an email support at hunch.ly happy hunting